Greetings, South Georgia Fig family. In this evening's video, I'm going to be showing you guys a quick, simple, and effective way to both prevent and control rust on fig trees. Most of you guys in the out there who've already grown or currently in the process of growing fig trees are familiar with what uh, rust is. And for those of you guys and guys out there who are new to growing fig trees, I'm going to take you guys in for a close up of this one leaf right here. This one yellowy leaf here on this fig tree. You guys see all of those spots, all those brown spots on this leaf? Those brown spots are a type of fungus referred to as leaf rust. Now, leaf rust typically occurs on fig trees during periods of high humidity. Fig trees are not really um, high humidity, na uh, native to high humidity areas. Fig trees are really dry uh, climate trees, and they, although, they, although they can be grown, grown in high humidity areas, they tend to, during the late part of the season, as it is here now, it's um, late September, I think September 22nd, something like that right there, 2022. Fig trees here in our area in row zone 8B develop rust. Rust typically doesn't cause that much of an issue for us on any of our fig trees because typically by the time our fig trees begin to develop, to develop rust, the um, actual fruit have come and gone and the rust from fig leaves, although the rust from fig leaves can spread to the fruit itself, it typically doesn't have that much of an effect on the fruit itself or the flavor or um, edibility of the fruit even if it does spread to the fruit however leaf rust does cause these ugly brown spots and these ugly brown spots can jump with leaf rust being a form of fungus from leaf to leaf via airflow or wind current the, the rust from this leaf can jump from this leaf to that leaf or can also be spread by um, precipitation if you come out if you're the person who Water your fig trees from overhead. I highly recommend that you stop watering your fig trees right now from overhead and never do that again. When it rains, you can't control the rain, but I highly advise anyone who's growing fig trees, never water your fig trees from overhead with some type of water hose or anything like that. At any rate, as you guys can see, most of the leaves on this fig tree are already in some way affected by leaf rust. And that's again due to the fact that leaf rust formed on one or more, or even on the stem of this fig tree and doing periods of high wind or precipitation that leaf rust jumped from either the stem of this fig tree over to one leaf and it jumped from leaf to leaf or it jumped from um, one leaf to um, uh, virtually every leaf on this fig tree. As you guys can see from top to bottom, virtually every leaf on this fig tree is in some way affected by rust. Now the simplest way to control rust on your fig trees, if it's a fig tree that doesn't have rust on it already, you're not experiencing any issues with rust, the simplest way to prevent rust on your fig trees is to saturate both the top of the leaf and the bottom of the leaf with a mixture of neem oil and water. And everybody's familiar with what uh, neem oil is. However, if you have a fig tree, like this is this one, that's already been infected by leaf rust, the simplest way to get rid of leaf rust on a fig tree such as this is to simply remove every single leaf from this tree. I'm going to do that right now in this video right quick. It doesn't require the use of any type of pruning shears or anything like that. I'm going to simply going to go around this tree and remove every single leaf because we're aware of the fact that at this point every single leaf on this tree has been affected by leaf rust. So I'm going to scoop and snap those leaves away. I'm going to toss them on the ground temporarily for the purpose of this video, but once I'm done with this video, I will be collecting each and every one of those leaves that I'm currently tossing on the ground, placing those leaves in a plastic bag, tying that plastic bag up, and discarding of that bag in my garbage bin. Because simply tossing these leaves on the ground is not removing the leaf rust, the uh, fungus from the area where your tree is growing and the, uh, the wind can simply blow that well, an effective, effective uh, leaf back along the base of your tree and it can rain and again restart the cycle and perpetuate that process all over again. As you guys can see, I've come through and I've completely defoliated my now two year old Toro fig tree here in my backyard food forest. And the next step that I'm gonna do here to um, prevent the um, return of the leaf rust is I'm simply going to saturate 
the stem and every single branch on this tree from top to bottom all the way down to the ground I'm even gonna spray a little neem oil down there in that ground down there so that if there's any um, leaf rust uh, fungus mold uh, spores or anything down there in that soil down there we can get rid of that as well here I have a small trusty bottle um, with a small amount of neem oil mixed with water in it I'm gonna shake this bottle bigger through what I'm gonna do is start from the top of this tree and make sure we get the entire tree and allow any excess that hits that stem to just run down the stem. I'm going to separate this entire tree, the stem from top to bottom, all the way down to ground level. Very, very, very simple process. And this is not the only time I'll come out here and do this. I'll come back out here maybe twice more during the next two weeks and repeat the process of saturating the stem of this tree and any new foliage that has formed at that time. And I'll come back out here also and resaturate the ground immediately surrounding the base of my fig tree out here. Again, very simple process, very effective process. Those in gas, uh, gas and gas of you right there who've been experiencing issues with your fig tree and the development of leaf rust. If you a person who has watered your fig tree from above with a garden hose or anything like that at any particular time or anything like that, stop watering your fig tree from above. Only water it around the base. Again, knee motor. Simply defoliate your fig tree if you're currently experiencing leaf rust. Defoliate that tree, saturate that stem and all of the branches with neem oil. Once your fig tree begins to revegetate itself, come back out, saturate that new foliage as it develops. And I highly recommend treating your fig tree with neem oil every 10 to 21 days. Thanks for watching. And if you are watching this video on a simple and effective way to prevent and control leaf rust on fig trees and you're not already ready to subscribe to South Georgia Figs, please take a brief moment to press the subscribe button beneath this video, the like button, the notification button, and be sure, South Georgia Fig family, to share this video with your friends and family as well. Thanks for watching.